here at our local greenhouse, we're going to be doing a DIY um, hot cocoa baby in a cup of hot cocoa. I have a special client who's not quite ready to eat cake yet at his cake smash, so we were looking online and found a really cute uh, viral with the baby in a cup of hot cocoa and some large marshmallows. So we're going to recreate that and DIY our little pot. So we came into the local greenhouse. They've got some big pots. I know from experience from climbing in pots when we did our big baby set um, that they had some nice big pots. But I do feel like these ones are a little too big for a small one-year-old. If I put a one-year-old in there, their head would probably come, you know, like only up to here until you wouldn't be able to see them in there. So these ones are a little too big. We're gonna kind of walk around and see. I did notice when I was here before that these ones, um, they're deep still, but I like the shape. I feel like this kind of looks like the shape of a teacup. Um, and I thought maybe if it was still too deep, I could put something in there to raise the level up so the baby's not sitting, but it's still less deep than the other ones. So if I set maybe a little fake shelf at the bottom to lift the baby up higher, but I really, really like this shape. It looks like a teacup and then we'll build a handle around it. So that's our, I think that's our pot. I don't see any others that speak to me. So I think we're gonna buy this one. I got my pot. <laughs> we're at local Walmart and we're getting the rest of the stuff we need for the, the baby's hot chocolate cake smash kind of deal. So. We've got the bucket, we grabbed that at the other store. When I drill the handle into the bucket, it's gonna create holes. We just need to make it waterproof. So I'm gonna grab some sealant or some caulk just to put around where we screw in the holes to connect the handle. And I think, I mean, I'm not <laughs> handy. 30 minutes water ready, shrink and crack proof, won't blemish metals, low odor, lifetime guarantee, 100% waterproof. So, and it comes with a handy little so I don't need to get these and then buy the big thing. I can just do this. So we're gonna go with that. And then while we're in this department, I'm gonna look for spray paint. So we're just gonna spray paint it white. I think it'll be too hard to brush it. So just a nice matte white. Maybe more than one bottle. Ultra matte. I definitely don't want any glare, any gloss coming back at me. So I definitely want it matte. Bonds to plastic wood, metal, and more. I'm gonna go with that, but I'm gonna get two, maybe three. Oh, but look, it says one can equals two. So I'm gonna get two cans, and if I have to come back, they're getting a letter. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so two ultimate and ultra matte spray paint to paint the bucket. I ordered some large campfire marshmallows. They arrived today, so I've got those. And other than that, I think we're good to go. So we'll just go and put it all together and make a beautiful hot cocoa mug. That's the word, hot cocoa mug. Here's our pot that we got from the pot store, from the greenhouse. I'm just gonna spray paint it with our matte paint that we got from Walmart. Let me turn this way so you can see better. Careful to do your spray painting somewhere where you're not gonna have overspray. This is the deep, dark recesses of the studio's building. One time I spray painted something in my garage with my car still parked in the garage. And even just the, the fine mist colored my brand new car. So make sure you're somewhere where it doesn't matter if the mist gets something or if you overspray on the floor. It was a long time before I lived that down. actually did really well. I feel like maybe it's true to what it claims. Its coverage is really good. Good on the in outside and then I'm gonna spray paint the inside. Charlie horse on my foot. Okay, it's fine. Work through the pain. Make sure you have a nice ventilated area. 
and I honestly don't know that I have to go much farther down than that because it'll be covered by the hot chocolate. Maybe just a little bit more, just in case. Glad I didn't get three bottles of barley. Did you hear the ghost? There we go. And then we've got the handle being made right now. Should I spray paint it right now? No, because I'm both finished cutting it. So we've got some styrofoam. I was initially going to do wood and have my awesome husband cut it out in wood, but this is more lightweight. It's like a styrofoam insulation, so it'll fit right there. Cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? What does the fancy world think? So it'll fit like that. Maybe a little more narrow here. Mm, yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe like trim it up into there. Okay. Oh, oh, don't touch it until it's dry. This is gonna be so cute. The question is, do I send a picture of what it's looking like and send it to my client, or do I just let her wait until her session? Yeah. This hot man. <laughs> you could probably take your mask off. I'm the only one within six feet of you. <laughs> I think everyone's. This is my nice. husband. He's my DIY buddy, whether he likes to be or not. <laughs> but he helps me on all of my projects, and like I said, sometimes, like I messaged him half an hour ago and said, "Can you make me a handle for a pot?" And he said, "Right now." And I said, "Yes." And here he is. <laughs> so then, Kevin's it's after work time. If it were on work hours, I wouldn't have dared bother him. As much. Hopefully it'll paint okay. I think it'll paint better without, yeah. Yeah. Like that. I think it would slide out. Plus it wouldn't match. I bought some caulk. I wonder. Because I thought we were going to have to screw the wood into the pot. But I think just hot glue. No, hot glue will just melt this. Unless you paint it that Super glue. There's just so much paint that when it dries, it's just stuck to the pot. Yeah. Really? Okay. Or no, just that you'll actually use. So if you put enough coats of glue here, then you're gluing the glue to the glue. Or just super glue, though? Like we've got a lot of... Super glue, but even super glue would um, erode away styrofoam. So that's why you want to spray He's an engineer by trade. Do you remember what happened to the ceiling? spray adhesive to it. And I just yep, it did melt it. Yep. Okay, is that the side I spray? Both sides. Okay. <laughs> Do you trust me? <laughs> Okay, so we are ready today for the actual session that we put together our little DIY hot cocoa pot. And I wanted to explain some of the other things we had to engineer. We had to figure out a couple things. Like this is a pretty deep pot. Obviously, if we put baby in it, baby's head's only gonna come mid-range. So what we've done, my husband and my boys dug some sand out of our sandbox, put it in Ziploc, sealed them double ziplock them so they're not there's no sand leaking into here put them at the bottom baby's also not completely able to sit down by himself he's a little more delayed in some of those areas so the sand will give him some support because it will mold against his back so i put one here for his back put some on the bottom the pot is sealed so there's no leakage going on then i put my stand-in baby in the pot before we added any hot chocolate so that we could see the level of sand to see where the baby needed, where the baby's head needed to be. Then we put some hot water in the bottom of our bucket, added cold hot chocolate until it was the right temperature, and then our right height as well. And then we've got an additional bucket that is clean with more hot water with cold hot chocolate to mix it, or cold chocolate milk from the store to the right temperature. Then when we put baby in it, 
we will just add additional chocolate to the right level. To, it should hide, you know, his weight will disperse some of the, the liquid up and then we'll add a little bit more if needed to hide the bags and bring his head level hopefully up to about here. We've got our campfire marshmallows that I'm gonna wait till right before to put in there. We should be good to go. We're just waiting for mom to get here and we'll have a little birthday party. Oh. And I ordered them on Amazon like two weeks ago to make nice. sure they would get here on time. Yeah. We could not. All right, that's what I figured. Nobody's got campfire marshmallows. Look at how cute. <laughs> okay, so put them in there. It's still warm. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cold. Put a little bit more in there. And I can add more bags if we've got more sandbags. <laughs> it's like, this is. Oh, hi. Sweet. Should I get some hot water? Yeah. Let's get some hot water. Yeah, see, it's not so bad, huh? He's like, shut up, lady, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, look at your toes. You're getting some without the tears, huh? Oh, sweet boy. <laughs> hey, Gabu, where's those bells? Where's those bells? Hi, sweet boy. Oh, it's pretty cute. I super like that. There we go. That's good. That's good enough. Look how cute that is. Oh yeah, see the hat? Patty cake, a patty cake. Oh, oh look at your piggy. Look at your piggy. Do you have little piggies? Do you have little piggies, huh? Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Good job, buddy. And he's kind of smiling. He's kind of smiling, huh? Are you going to tell me off? Huh? Are you going to tell me off less now than before? Big a boo. Oh, big a boo. few things before I say goodbye that we learned. I think next time we will actually probably put the baby in the little cup before we add the water because I think that startled him a little bit to have him in the instant water. Um, this baby, like I mentioned, has like can't quite sit up by himself so when we were able to lay him down, when he laid himself down, that actually worked out really well with a different camera angle. Having some warmer water than I thought we would need. I think it was a little cold at the beginning so I think next time starting out with a little bit of warmer water, putting the baby in the bucket without any water first, and then slowly adding the water chocolate milk mixture. Maybe that will help with the crying. But we eventually got some really cute shots and I'm pleased with what we've got and I look forward to maybe doing it again another time. So if you enjoyed our little hot chocolate cocoa baby, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you receive notifications when we post new videos. 
Thanks for joining us. Talk to you later. Bye.